as Muslim Women brings us here to stand up for those who are unable to stand for themselves. Through our organization, we will exhibit the true nature of a Muslim woman, the one who cares about her community, and the one who knows that it is our shared duty to ensure that every person has a chance to be successful. So our mission is to provide legal and social services to victims of domestic violence and to promote awareness and education within our community, legal community, and law enforcement agencies. Now, just to give you an idea, a normal domestic violence hearing for um, a victim hiring an attorney would be anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500. So we're able to provide these um, this free service to victims and their family. So our mission of the farm is education, land stewardship, and building community from the ground up. So when the children come out to the farm, we teach them about land stewardship, growing organic produce, we teach them what community means, and they spend the whole morning on the farm. Um, typically it's elementary kids, but sometimes we have older kids out as well. Um, one other thing that we do on the farm is uh, serve adults with workshops, and uh, that's open to the entire community. We educate on gardening and growing food and cooking food, and we also have tours every first Sunday of the month. We have a farmer's market every Sunday, uh, typically it's noon to four, and the farmer's market um, serves our low-income residents with the SNAP EBT. We are looking to expand our farm and reclaim part of our land. Um, it's 1.5 acres uh, just across the creek from our main campus. Um, when we rebuild this farm, we'll be serving 200 more families every week. We're a unique learning environment. We're powered by the community, um, volunteers, and donations. And so what that means is that um, we are a community center in Central Tampa, and we offer 50 different activities a week for kids, and they all only cost $5. What we usually highlight are the three things we do um, that are sort of the key pieces of what we do are the 50 activities a week for kids that each only cost $5. We have a community closet where we give free clothing and shoes out to families that need it. And we offer school partnerships. This is a sampling of the classes that we offer. We have been open for just over a year and we have served over 500 families have come through. We are um, completely grassroots. We have no employees. Our annual budget is only um, just under $20,000 and we need to expand that and able to be able to offer more services to the family um, and to be able to um, allow more families to take the uh, classes for free and additionally to do some of the things during this uh, pandemic that we've been trying to do. Congratulations to Sweetwater Organic Community Farm and again, Tribe and Are You Safe? You will each be receiving $1,000 from our organization. So thank you so much. Happy Earth Day. Yes, I can. And, and uh, thank you very much. And I was saying earlier, Ramadan Mubarak. We would like to uh, name the field in your honor as well. So the field will be named in the honor of your organization. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate that. So one of the first things that we've been able to do with the money was to actually install security cameras, which is something that we actually needed. And we're currently working on our workout, like a health and wellness room for our kids to be able to enjoy during this time while we're out, uh, while they're out of school, actually. And then the other thing was working on doing a farm to table program, starting to start in a garden where the girls are going to actually start planting a salad and being able to just most of our kids come in, they do have those few food insecurities. So being able to find a way to teach them so that even when they leave us, they'll be able to continue this into adulthood and hopefully teach their children as well. And we are actually working on a computer lab due to the fact with the kids being home from school and having to work, which is something that we were not prepared for. We just appreciate your support. Can't wait till everything is over so you all can come out and visit and meet the young ladies that we have working with us. The first charity to present is Radiant Hands. We're ready to launch a new program called Radiant Tailors. It's been in the pipeline for a while, but it's been hard with the logistics, get everything set up and to get the finances. So now we have some grant money coming in from uh, Islamic Relief USA. And uh, we have a full program designed and a proposal 
and we would like to launch the program after Eid al-Adha, inshallah. The funds will go specifically towards the equipment. This is the basic equipment for them to start their business, the commercial machines, the irons, um, some remodeling that needs to be done in the space, done in the space that we have, but the, the cost is $8,000, inshallah. I'm here to talk about the, this pandemic that just surprisingly happened and we had to deal with it forcefully. We started to, uh, we started our food drive with 500 families, you know, a week. And now we are at 25,000 families up to date. Our goal is 50,000 families by the end of Ramadan, the end of the, this month, the next four weeks. Um, our food drive is open for everyone in the community. Um, it, it's about, so far, the spending reached a million dollars. And uh, we continue to do this for the whole month of Ramadan and this, until this is over. Um, they, uh, we start at three o'clock. They come in. We have four stations. The first station, they open the trunk and they put the drinks in their trunk. Second station, they uh, pick up the uh, grains and the dry food. Third station, the vegetables and the snacks. Fourth station, uh, the meat, close and roll out. And the, the lines are all the way backed up to 56 and Fowler. To everyone who is listening, Brother Hatem, this food drive is open to everybody in the community, correct? Muslim and non-Muslim? Yes. Yes. yes, it is open for to everyone. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And the charity that will receive the grant this quarter is the Community Food Drive by the Islamic Community of Tampa, ICT. Those of you who weren't able to join us last quarter, um, 200 Muslims Who Care had two initiatives present. The winning initiative was Youth Mental Health First Aid, which is a professional development program that we wanted to support and pay for for the three Islamic schools in the area. So we are going to pay for two, over 215 teachers and staff to be trained in the youth professional, I mean, in the, in the youth mental health first aid program. In addition, we were able to raise enough funds to be able to have two additional um, courses taught open for our members who are interested in taking that uh, professional development course as well. Now, because of the COVID-19 crisis, things kind of shifted. Not that we aren't able to do it, we are still able to do it, but because the schedule changed for Hillsborough County Schools, the trainers who are working with us are contracted through Hillsborough County. All of their schedules also have changed. And so what has happened is until the end of the summer, that we aren't able to give us a specific date yet until we get this crisis cleared up. Please open up your screen so we can see you. And I'm gonna take a quick photo. Thank you, that's page one. Let me grab, come on. Some of you are being shy. Thank you again for showing up. We appreciate it. And thank you again so much for all your time. Um, we hope that you all have a very good night and inshallah we'll see you soon when all of this clears. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, everybody. Who is that? Oh, so much. Oh, I miss Orange Daring so bad. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Good night, everybody. Love you. Love you, okay? Yes, we do. Okay. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum, everybody. Assalamu alaikum.